Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and I had to make a couple of back-to-school cards for a couple of monkeys here. Um, for us, back-to-school starts after Labor Day. I've had people, a lot of people ask me that. It wasn't until I started becoming friends with people in the States that have kids that go back to school in like the beginning of August and that kind of stuff. To me, it's always been <clears throat> the end of August, the beginning of September. So, got kids going back to school next week, pulled out the Simon Says Stamp school bus messages stamp set. This, this set has been super popular. It keeps selling out every time they restock it. So um, you can always sign up for notifications though. It's just, I love the size of the school bus. It's so big and fun. And I was going to originally make like school bus shaped cards, like just the shape and size of the school bus, but decided to do a bigger card because I want to do some fun rainbow backgrounds. So Stamp the school bus onto Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock using Simon's Intense Black Ink. And then I also used one of the sentiment stamps on like the front bumper. I thought that we kind of just do a cute little touch. So ink that up with the same ink, stamped all that. And then I'm just going to use my Copic markers to color this in. And it's really simple, pretty basic coloring, you know, school bus yellow. So I went deeper with yellows. I, um... My last card where I did the candy corn was like my go-to yellow combo. It's a brighter yellow. With this one, I went deeper with the yellow shades, you know, because the school bus isn't like light yellow. It's like a deep, bright, almost orange yellow. So I used Y19, Y18, and Y08, just working from darkest to lightest. And once I got the bus colored, I'm going to add all of the, like, what would be, you know, the chrome sort of areas. Um, just using C4, C2, and C00, so it's cool grays for that. And again, working lightest to darkest. And off camera, I was coloring the second image that there was no point. I thought like doubling the footage um, for the exact same thing. So colored that in, and then I went with much darker grays to do like what would be the black area, which is um, the rear view mirrors and, or the side mirrors and the tires. So just C9, C6, and then I use that same C4 as my lightest to blend those. And then I'm going to use, um, just lighter yellows for the headlights. And I decided to do the same thing for the like school sign. I guess the fun thing with this is you can kind of choose, um, the colors you would want to use for some of this, but I decided to go with just a really light yellows for that. So I did the little school sign and the headlights, and then I used reds for the two lights on the top of the bus, my another go-to combo, R27, R24, and R22. And then I added a bit of BG10 to the windows, and I blended that out with my colorless blender. And then for all the shading, I'm using BV20, just to add little bits of shadow here and there. It just gives it that extra depth so just kind of going along and just adding it wherever I thought it kind of you know could spice things up a little bit just to add that little bit of shadow it just gives it it really does give it that extra little bit of dimension so added all of that and then once I was done adding um my highlights I blended out a bit on the windows there just because I left the rest of it white and it was really obvious and then I just took my white gel pen and added some highlights to make things pop even more and then once all my coloring's done, my highlights are added, I'm going to use the coordinating little school bus die. This is the one where if you, you know, die cut it and left a little fold at the top, you could totally make little school bus shaped cards, which would be super cute. I was thinking like little lunch notes and stuff. Even if you didn't want to color them, like if you die cut some yellow cardstock and just heat emboss the bus onto it with like white heat, white embossing powder. And then made little, you know, yellow school bus, bus shaped cards. Those would make the cutest little lunch notes. I have so many ideas. Anyway. Anyway, I also die cut the picture book monkey from the same cards because I had the space there. And to make things easier, I kept the scrap paper and I put my washi tape on the back of it. And then I'm just putting back all the little pieces of this picture book monkey right onto it so that this can hold everything in place because I just decided to do Copic markers for this. Um, I've had people comment on other videos. It's like, oh, I need to get, you know, a whole bunch of colored cardstock to, you know, use all these picture book characters and etc. And you don't need, if you don't have a bunch of colored cardstock, you can just use white cardstock or white watercolor paper, whatever, you know, you want to color them with and then just color the pieces with your markers or your watercolors or whatever. So with these, I just use that Copic cardstock, my Nina Solar White 80. And then I'm just going to use some more Copic markers to color these in. 
looks like a hot mess at first because I'm going outside the lines because it's not going to matter. But I will honestly, it bothers me. <laughs> like, look at this. I'm like, it's so messy. But I have to remind myself, all those outer parts aren't going to be on the card. You're not going to see it. So I just colored in the monkey um, with my Copic markers and then carefully dabbed in the that same C9 for his eyes. And then to remove him, rather than take those pieces out and, you know, glue them separately onto the bus where I'm going to put it, it was less effort to just undercut the little monkey again and just be, I'm just cutting away some of the washi tape. I could have used clear tape, you know, regular clear tape like I usually use. Um, I would recommend that. I was trying to be more careful so you can't see any of that washi tape because it's blue. But if you use clear tape, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. But this literally took no time and this is no different than some of the previous picture book videos I've done where I would use, you know, copy paper and glue it. This was faster. I might need to do this more often that rather than like gluing everything to copy paper and cutting out. But again, whatever floats your boat, whatever works best for you. I found this method worked great. So now I'm like, ooh, I need to do this more often. So I did that and then I just used a pencil to kind of... Um, trace where the bumper there like the front of the school bus would be so I could trim that off of my little monkey so I could adhere him so it looks more like he's you know sitting in the bus I did leave his ears hanging out rather than trim those off too so it would look more like he's actually in the bus so it's kind of silly but at the same time these are for kids I always call them monkeys even though <laughs> although I'm always like good night monkeys or different things and it's like we're not monkeys anyway so, and I found it funny, Laura Basson did, she did a school bus shaped card when this set was first released and she put the monkey and I think it's the little Labrador picture book character in hers. So there's one on each side in each window. I thought that was adorable. And it was just funny because it was like, that was the first thing I thought I was using the monkeys in the bus. So, um, if I remember, I'll try to remember to link to her, um, creation too. Cause it's just, it's just cute. It's just so much fun. So um, after I did all of that, I had die cut some white cardstock with the diamond pattern wafer dye and then some lawn fawn, rain really rainbow six by six pattern paper. That was kind of what I wanted to do. That's why I did the full card because I really wanted to use that pattern paper. Just to have na the nice bright rainbow of color. And then I am heat embossed um, the first day sentiment from the set onto just black cardstock using um, detail white embossing powder so that that sentiment on the bumper there actually makes sense. It'll say, have fun on your first day. And then I'm going to adhere that pattern paper to my card base and the pattern paper I'd cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's gonna completely cover the front of my A2 card base here. And I just use my Zyron adhesive to adhere that and then decide to use just my Simon Craft Tacky Glue to adhere this diamond powder die cut because this is just quicker and easier to use. And I just added lines of it between the die cuts here and not squeezing the bottle very heavy, like not really adding very much adhesive at all. Just a very thin, thin dotty little line of it to the back of this. And then I'm going to adhere it directly to that pattern paper. And then for the little bus and the sentiment, I use Simon's Big Mama foam tape, which is thinner than the Scotch foam tape. So it, it gives it a little bit of dimension, but doesn't pop it up too much. So um, applied that to the back of the bus and the back of the first day sentiment there so I can pop these onto my card front. And once I've got these popped into place, I'm going to, of course, finish the insides of both of these cards. So I had some rainbow paper left over from cutting down the pieces for the front of the cards. So I cut those down just a little bit more and then I'm just gonna adhere that strip of pattern paper to the inside of each of these cards. So, and then the narrow little strip that was left over, I'm just gonna save that for another project. So I adhered those onto the insides of my cards and then I pulled out another um, sentiment or a couple of sentiments from the School Bus Messages stamp set. And I'm just gonna line these up into my stamp platform again, just so I can stamp both of these it's faster, easier. Plus I can stamp them a couple times since they're brand new stamps. Sometimes it takes a few stampings and a few cleanings to really get them good and conditioned. So ink those up with that same intense black ink so that um, the inside's going to say, have a great day with the black ink. 
And then there's this cute little um, heart you stamp in the set. So I'm just going to ink that up with Distress Oxide ink in the Candied Apple. So just a nice red oxide ink. I thought that was really cute. So yeah, have a great day. Love you on the inside. I thought it was cute. So stamp that. And then as a final to finish off this card, I was like, oh, I added white highlights to the bus. I need to add them to the monkeys too, of course. So grab my white gel pen and added a few little highlights, little dots to his cheeks and just little dots on his body just to kind of tie it all in and plus to make him pop just a little bit more. And that's going to finish off these cards. So as always, I will have um, my supply list, my blog post, everything will be linked directly below the video. So you can check that out if any of this, any of these products interest you. They're all listed and linked directly below the video. Stay tuned. Tons of videos coming. Holy wow. I, yeah, stay tuned. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, my blog. I'm going to be posting a ton. Stamp Timber starts literally in a few hours. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!